Hey you guys, Ebony here, Snarky Black Girl, all that good stuff, or you're watching Snarky Black Girl TV. I, of course, am Snarky Black Girl. I didn't feel like putting on my wig today either, y'all, so y'all gonna have to see me, okay? You just gonna deal with it. Uh, because this is what I look like. This is my hair. So, yeah. It may not be blonde and laid to the side with the bow, but life goes on. Doesn't it? Anyway, so without further ado, I'm just shuffling a couple of decks here. Um, of course, like, share, and subscribe. I thank you guys for all of you guys who have liked, shared, and subscribed my videos. Subscribed to my videos. Ooh, look at him coming out the bottom of the deck again. I'm tired of his ass, though. We're going to shuffle his ass back in here. This is that Leo, that Sagittarius, or that Aries man or woman that's in your life. Of course, this is my Sagittarius reading, so it could be in your you in your highest vibration, but no, it's not. No, it's not. It's his ass. And or her, whoever it is, again, apply the gender as it makes sense to you and your orientation. But he sure is in here hiding his feelings with this chameleon ass energy here because this person's on a dark night of the soul. I don't know why I feel like this person is left out in the cold in some kind of way or they are purposely leaving themselves out in the cold over over something that they perceive that they have done wrong or they may have done you wrong again nine of pentacles is here but again i don't feel like talking about that same old diatribe ass old sad humdrum message of people leaving you out in the cold let's talk about something good because i know there's something good coming in for my sagittarius people because your dark night of the soul is over the hermit card could also indicate winter so winter was that indication that you guys are breaking free from whatever this is going on around you now i was going to make this a channel reading to see what it is that your person of interest is trying to tell you but not his ass because we tired of this leo sagittarius to aries person that keeps like bombarding in with their energy like, how are you simultaneously trying to hide your feelings, but at the same time, you want to talk? Because all your energy is just talk, talk, talking, little talky self. But also, that's what happened between you guys. This person was probably, you know, pillow talking and telling it all. Talking your business. So somebody is trying to tell you that they're disappointed with the way that things happened, especially in their work life. Something, this card is neither reversed or upright, of course, because it's a plan card. But I get, with this card, with the five of baskets attached to it, I tell you what, this person's energy, as far as their work life is concerned, is like no more. There's something going on at work with this person that's probably got them either seeking more knowledge or they've hit a place in their career path where you know bravery alone and them going out there and just tackling it isn't enough this person's going to have to get some kind of education to move beyond a certain part or a certain chapter in their own work life you know and so again their abundance is kind of like slowed up but also they're in grief but so this is the three of swords but also though i feel like this three of swords energy though i feel like they're in grief because their money is running out and it could be because also they have like some kind of a uh, habit this person could have um this person could have literally like acquired some kind of like drug habit or you know if you don't think that marijuana and stuff is drugs whatever that's fine that's up to you to think that but i'm telling you they've acquired some type of habit as far as like um maybe something harder than that because i feel like it would actually be a, a a drug habit and so um yeah like this person in the mode of trying to like explore and figure out different things in their life but they've lost a lot of their their ingenuity or they've lost a lot of their power and their drive to move forward because of the fact that you know their work life is being messed up because they've just and sometimes when you do drugs like that or when you kind of like tap into even if it's just them drinking because again maybe it is something legal maybe they are um intoxicated all the time off of uh something legal like marijuana if you live in arizona like me california las vegas whatever um maybe it is some or amsterdam so maybe it is something legal but they're overindulging in it to me it feels like they could also be drinking too so they might be mixing and matching you know drinking's a downer at all times and maybe they're puffing sativa and they're trying to they're mixing and matching this up and down energy and i see them on like this roller coaster of anguish the devil card definitely indicates to me um some kind of number one an obsession yes but also like an actual addiction so this person does have an actual addiction to something the temperance card is also about addiction or drinking too much so this person is lost in some kind of addiction but they got into this addiction when their money was good is what i feel like and yeah your money will be good when you first start off in, a, in any kind of addiction because it gives you that power it gives you that drive it gives you that means to an end but once you get so wrapped up in it then those emotions that you've been trying to block out with this drug are going to to come to the surface and so i feel like some of them could have even been sad about whatever happened between the two of you guys or they were disappointed 
by them not listening to their intuition. Like if you look at this card here, there's two, there's an owl right here. Like this is an owl. So owls indicate wisdom. But in the five of baskets, it's about disappointment. Oh, look at all this. Whatever was in this basket is all spilled out all over the place. And so they've lost, they've lost something. They've lost everything. And this is like a winter landscape. So it's cold outside. They're caught out in the cold and they've lost whatever was in those baskets because of their own, not their own, um, their own pessimism, yes, but also the fact that they're not listening to their, their intuition. They're not listening to wisdom. And I feel like this person is someone who's been through a lot of different like spiritual lessons. And even though they've been through a lot of spiritual lessons, they don't apply what they've learned. Like how you just, you can't just have all these lessons that happen in your life. And then all of a sudden, now you're not going to apply the lessons that you've actually learned from it. You can't just go back out there and start doing the same thing over and over and over again in the same exact way, but you expect a different type of result to come into your life. That's Einstein's definition of insanity, baby. Like, you can't just continue on that type of path. So... This person's probably gotten some kind of reading on you or they've gotten a reading in the past or they could even be, just be watching YouTube readings or something like that. And someone's told them that this is a, a product of their own making. OK, the two of coins 2022 was the year that this was all going to fall apart. Also, the two of coins, if it's in the reverse, these coins are going to fall right out of his hand because he's upside down. So this person's upside down in some kind of energy in their own life and whatever they were juggling before. But this was like career it's no more. They can't juggle. It's probably like they were juggling career and a habit or some type of addiction. Their addiction could even just be sex or their addiction is to repeating whatever this lesson was in their life. And this is like a generational curse. So this person is repeating generational curses in their own life. And this card is about somebody that's sitting there waiting for spirit to bring to you that knowledge that you needed in order to move forward but this person's moving forward without the knowledge and so you can't just go out there acting like you're an expert in something and not actually have done it like um quick story i wouldn't uh, y'all already know already if you watched my videos you know what happened but i took like two years off from from like 2020 until just this year i started back doing it like going hard and it was because i needed to learn you know you get it like you have to you can't go out there acting like you're some kind of expert in whatever you're an expert in and, and not have done the work to heal yourself. Like, no. Like, when I started my product line to heal generational curses, Spirit said, oh, you got to get high on your own supply. Because if you don't get high on your own supply, then how do you know it actually works? Like, come on now. But this person's like out there telling people like, oh, I'm an expert. This is what works. But they didn't either get the education for it or they didn't even go down the process of like figuring out if it actually worked. To us, the two of swords here tells me that this person was blinded to their own uh, ignorance. I mean, I, I would try to sugarcoat that, but they were blind to their own ignorance. Let's just be real. This person also was blind to the fact that they had some kind of like karmic energy in their life. Probably a karmic woman. The Queen of Pentacles can indicate the other woman. And so this person, especially if they were blinded to it and they're disappointed now, it's because this was the other woman, but they propelled this other woman to a place in their life where... <laughs> If this person's not meant to go on your journey with you, then you can't just put them into this pl this place of authority in your life and think that spirit's gonna let that just move on like it like 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 this is normal. It's not normal. It's not normal, and this person's not meant to be in your sp your your spiritual space for much longer. But you're holding on to it, and that's the biggest lesson. Like. The biggest lesson is about surrendering. And yeah, it's hard to surrender, but it has to be done. Everybody goes through a journey of surrender in their life. And so this person's no exception, but they thought they were the, excep the exception to the rule. And that's why their money's messed up. This person, if this person had, if this person had strength and how, and, and I'm here in housing, then it, it's not that way anymore. You know, this person's father coins in the reverse. And again, we're not going to rejoice in the fact that now your person's gone broke because they were messing with this karmic. But really, your person went broke because they were in this karmic energy, you know, and they were being deceived. But they were deceiving themselves. Like, this is a card about this bird. This bird, there's probably little chick or little seedlings or um, fledglings, I think is what the little baby birds are called. Little fledglings in here. But this big ass greedy bird is on top of these, the babies. And the mama bird is steadily feeding this big old fat bird until her babies die. This, this bird is going to be here until her actual until the little chicks and the little fledglings actually die out and so this person whoever this was that was blocking they were blocking they were blocking if this person had kids they probably put this other person above their children and was feeding this person and you know your your actual your actual generation is now starving out because you're too busy feeding this greedy this greedy person or this greedy energy or whatever this greed was, you know. And so I do feel like this person here, you have the card of joy, but you have the tower card coming out right behind it. So 
if you were joyful before, baby, uh, there's not a joyful noise in the room now. You know, if you had energy to move forward now, it's like your opportunities have ceased until you recognize the fact that you're being deceived or this person's being deceived. That's neither here nor there. That's not your problem. That's their problem. But again, that's that Gemini energy coming out again. Because the Six of Cups, of course, is about the past and about also seeing things from like a rose-colored kind of like perspective. But it's also about immaturity and childishness. It's also about Gemini season or Geminis, and Geminis are two-faced. They're, they present themselves as one way, but really deep down, they have something else that that's going on in their own mind space. And so either that's this person pretending to be somebody that they're not, or again, they have someone in their life that's pretending to be somebody that they're not for this person, for the benefit of whatever this financial abundance was. You know, again, Gemini energy, this Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra or Aquarius energy. But again, I got the owl looking over the situation like I'm here right here trying to give you wisdom. This owl is purple, which also indicates the crown chakra. And so this person is like moving out there, but not listening to their intuition. Like you're all talk all energy, all action, but you're not even like really thinking it through about whether or not this is the right way to actually pursue the situation. And I think that's what really kind of like put them between this rock and a hard place. You know, again, there's some kind of swift truth coming in for this person. And I'm hearing this coming in from their financial advisor. And it has, maybe their mom is a financial advisor, but their mom is going to come in or whoever this woman is that handles the finances or the money, whoever this was, was a trickster that was coming in here about to like, let them know, like, you ain't got the money, you ain't got the juice, you ain't got the energy because you've either overspent or somebody's done robbed you blind. And it's because you've been out here fucking around. Like, you led your libido lead you to a place where you can't come back from it. And I feel like they really did let their libido lead them to a place where it's like... Uh, they're at the point where they are either going to have to, if they keep on charging the same direction, which it looks like they are, they're going to run right into some kind of problem with, with a deception. Like this card about, look at, these two cards are the same. And again, you're out there feeding this greedy little fat ass energy that's eating all of your... All the things that you're trying to build up for your people behind you, your children, your whoever you're trying to build up wealth for... They, this whoever you're feeding is like they don't care they're going to take it and take it and take it until everything beneath them dies out and then you're lost of energy you have no more food to give and your your bloodline is gone so again there ain't no love here there's love lost and so that's their biggest lesson like they have been trying and trying and trying to like build up this opportunity for whatever this love was and now the love is not there and here's the thing, like this could be your person or this could be the karmic or this could be whatever. This is a lesson. So whatever this lesson is, I think that this is a lesson that this person has overcome before or they've gone through before and they just... They just keep on going into it until there's no other way there until it just blows up in their face. This person is someone I feel like that has either, again, some kind of addiction, but the addiction could be to... It's, it's something to do with their emotions too. You know, the King of Cups is like a father figure, of course, like the Mother Cups is, but the King of Cups is like that energy of um, intoxication, yes, emotional manipulation, yes, but also somebody that's like, they have really repressed emotions. In the upright, he's very caring, he's loving, he loves you unconditionally, but in the reverse, this person don't even love themselves. Like they're either, or they're all for themselves, they're all very, very, you know, very selfish, but that's that selfish energy that caused this tower moment. And so this person is like not looking at that, they're just in this really foolish energy. The full card upright is, is about moving into a new journey, a new chapter. But if you look at it from this perspective, you know, the fool, the, the joke's on you. The joke is on you. The fool is literally on you. So, I mean, my goodness, my gosh, my gracious. I see the strength card coming in here. And so this person here is going to have to persevere through this and try to rein in whatever this habit is of self-sabotage and again for some of them it could be intoxication it could be you know you never know a little, little white girl a little cocaine a little christina aguilera whatever you want to call it but again the king of, or the four of pentacles is about really holding on to something for dear life that really because again these pentacles of course you might think it's money or you might think it's like abundance but you never know what these pentacles represent it could indicate that thing that's been with them that's caused them comfort and stability and look at that i mean you can't build you can't you can't this there's no foundation here they're just hanging on for dear life or whatever this is without really even thinking about the consequences of it and the consequences of it is that your cup is spilling out there's no emotion here there's no love there and so you're about to charge forward in this direction right towards this deception directly towards somebody that's going to lie to you lie to you and and put you down like this person is like um <laughs> 
you know, it's karma. It's karma. So it's karma. But this person is moving right in for somebody that's about to, like, when you think about the traditional four of uh, swords card, it's about, of course, I was going to try and flip until I found it, but that's fine. Um, it's about you laying there, getting rest, blah, blah, blah. But when I look at that image sometimes, it reminds me of like a, a mausoleum or like a coffin or something like that. And so you're being sucked dry to the point where you have nothing left. And you're either going to, if you keep on going this direction and you're getting sucked dry like that, then you will end up in a mausoleum. You will end up in like a coffin. You will end up having to, if you don't go, if you don't stop yourself voluntarily, spirits gonna come in and stop uh, the energy for you. And so I think that's where this person is in their life right now. They do have new opportunities starting out here though, but again, there's something going on behind the scenes, behind their back that they don't even know about is what I get here. I got the page of cups. So again, they're not listening to the intuition and that's what's making their... That's what's making their karma the all the much worse. But this person knows, though, is what I feel like. I feel like this person actually knows. They know already they're supposed to leave the situation, but they, they keep on leaving. But they, some of them are not even leaving. Some of them are like... Now, so here's the thing, though. Some of them will leave and never come back is what I kind of feel like in this situation. But some of them are like, there's something going on here with this person. Like the star card again is about that energy of or the idea of tempering yourself. Also, it's the idea of about uh, healing something, healing an addiction. There's water here, uh, but some of them could even be workaholics, and this workaholic energy is what kind of like caused them this destruction, this self destruction, because they did it to themselves. You know, again, there's this energy of like the so the intoxication could be this idea that they're supposed to be famous or there's some kind of like business opportunity that they're charging forward towards, and that's what that's really what they're. That's really what their main focus is. So this person does have focus intention. Um, and I feel like that's what they want to tell you. But their focus intention is going in the wrong direction. Uh, because they're really not listening to their intuition. There's also again this mother figure here. So let me see if it's there. If it's not their mother, it's somebody that they... Hmm. It's somebody that's causing a running inter interference. Like... Every time that they come out of this this dark night of the soul kind of energy, which is probably was fueling their addiction, whenever they come out of that, this person pops up. And, you know, she could also be kind of emotionally manip manipulative when there's a major card that's in the reverse along with her. And so every time they come out of this dark night of the soul, this person comes in and does something to, like, you know, run interference. They got somebody in their life that's, like, weird. That's weird, like you know, throwing daggers behind their back. Maybe they think this idea of spell work or whatever is true or real, or they're really trying to incorporate themselves into the, into the next chapter in this person's life and they don't belong there. And again, every time I see this card, I always think about there's drugs in here. You don't really think of this as being like lines of, <laughs> but when I think about this, cause I feel like this person is on some kind of drug. That's a joint. That's a little bit of a little, little Christina Aguilera, whatever it is. This person is like on one. They're on one and, you know, they're all action and no thought process behind it. They're going, but they do have coins. I think that this has worked out for them in the past, though. All this action and no, like, not really thinking about it has brought them money in the past, especially if they've had, like, a a bad bitch or something like that on their team. And this person probably does have, like, a lot of women. They probably do have a lot of, like, uh, baddies on their team in some kind of way that they're using to build up all of this momentum. And that momentum could just be, like, sexual energy because sometimes people, you know, sex magic, all that. And so it could be something like that. But for me, this feels like this person, uh, that's worked in the past, but now that's a part of their lesson to kind of, like, learn and get through. Hey, boy. Hey, boy. Shut my door. That's my nephew. Y'all can't see him, but anyways, but that's, I feel like that's a big part of their spiritual protection. Hey, get out of my room, boy. <laughs> All he's doing is sitting there clicking his tongue. Shut my door. So he's asking to leave it open. Okay. Anyways, but yeah, I feel like that's a big part of their um, energy here. How can I help you? He's the one that's been taking bites out of my cards. Like, my cards are all bit up. <laughs> it's because of him. How can I... You see yourself? Ooh, that's you. That's you. I'm not trying to cut my... Hey. Let's see. I don't know. My sister got these big old basketball shorts on him. You ain't doing nothing with yourself. Anyways. Oh. But yeah, this is that energy of, like, controlling energy, too. Okay, now you're just acting up. Get out of here. Bye, friend.
Yeah, you kind of smell like bum buns. Get out of here. Oh, but look at this. So they do, I think that they found, thought that they found the one, whoever that was that they were supposed to marry. And this person's in the reverse. Now, for some of them, though, they could have found, they could have thought that they found the person that they were supposed to marry. And then they met someone else. And that's what kind of threw them off. Hmm. But see, again, they're trying to hold on to this upside down or this reverse empress in a way that's supposed to keep them, keep this person tied to them. But again, it's like, and some of them also ended up like, they might have a little keep a keep a keep an empress baby keep an emperor baby they could have got trapped with a child or something like that and so that's what they're trying to like they're trying to protect or guard against in some kind of way but they made the they made the wrong choice they were thinking with the wrong head and then you got this energy of them being like defeated someone outsmarted this person and so again they might have said oh i'm on the um, i have birth control or something like that or maybe some of them just didn't even use it who knows and I think, again, the Hierophant card is here. This person didn't listen to their higher intuition in this situation. I see here the Son of Sticks, which is a card about immaturity. And it's also about moving to the a direction without really even thinking about what it is that you're moving towards. They dropped their guards for the wrong empress is what I feel like here. And that's what they're paying for at this point in time. The paw card or the moon card is about um, femininity. And when you think of it in terms of femininity in the reverse, this is all about a feminine person using their masculinity in order to attract in somebody. It, but it feels strategic. It's strategic. It's strategy here. The empress card. So whoever this empress was, it was all about strategy is what I get out of the situation. And it could have been because they were trying to defeat you, Sagittarius, because this is the Sagittarius card. Um, they were trying to leave you out in the cold. They were trying to make sure that no one loved... They're trying to make sure that you didn't have an opportunity with this person is what I kind of get. And so they all rushed towards this... They rushed in a hurry towards this person. And let's just see what happened. They rushed in a hurry towards this person. And and you see, they rushed to their untimely end in this type, in this particular situation. Or it should have been their untimely end. But I feel like your person may have stuck in the situation longer than they should have. Because their libido was making them stick there. Or their libido convinced them that this was a decent opportunity. And it just wasn't. You know, again, there's that. This person, whoever they are, they probably have like a love addiction in some kind of way. But they also like what they want want and they want multiple different people there could have been three karmics i think I, this came out yesterday it could have been three karmics or there was um a, a whole array of people in this person's life uh but again i feel like in some kind of way you may have been one of these people but let's just see because i get a butt out of that because there is a butt here something they did they did love somebody they did build a house with somebody and they did want to uh kind of like build a home with somebody and you know they weren't happy with somebody here Let's just see how they felt about you or how they feel about you. Because I feel like that's a message that they're wanting to bring out. This person is acknowledging the fact that they did not use their intuition. Or this person was just really, their their judgment is clouded in some kind of way because of work. And I see here this, um, this Ace of Cups card or this, um, hmm. This person made the wrong decision. They really did because they were they were intoxicated in some kind of way and they weren't really in their highest vibration. They were too busy walking around with this other person in their life. And so instead of using their heart, they were using their head and that caused a lot of conflict. So I think that this is someone that likes to have options or they like to see people fighting over them. Or they don't feel complete and whole in their own life unless they have like some kind of, unless they have options or something like that is what I kind of get. And so they walked away, some of them walked away because they thought she was broke. Some of them could have walked away because they thought that you were broke or they thought that you weren't really going in the same place that they were going to. You know, some of them probably are really heavily overly focused on their career or their money. And they, in some kind of way, again, they weren't listening to their intuition. They they figured that you, again, some of you guys are maybe psychics. Maybe you do this type of work. You could work in like a spiritual field and they felt like that wasn't a, a worthy type of um, match to what it was that they were doing. And that's what made them walk away. But again, you're coming out in your highest vibration in the upright at that. So again, Sagittarius, uh, they bad. They chose an option that wasn't even, you know, you don't compete where you don't compare. And so this is the tower card and their competition or whoever they put you up against, they don't compete where they don't compare, baby. If they, there's, no, there's not even any love there. Just really stupid. So they made a really stupid decision based on some kind of manipulation. And they could have even been trying to like manipulate you in a way in order to make you kind of like, in order to make you feel either bad about yourself or maybe make you try to like switch up your, try to switch it up a little bit. They wanted you to switch up whatever you were doing. And this person's insane. 
this person's insane. Like the nine of swords with the devil card can indicate some kind of like um, insanity, mental illness. Like this person's a manipulator and they don't really see things clearly because of whatever it is that they have in their life. And it's work. It's work. This, this idea of this money, you know, money is the root of all evil. Okay. And this person allowed this money to manipulate their, their better judgment. His ukulele. They, you know, they allowed this person to, they allowed that to in, to interfere with their better judgment. And that's why they're repeating this dark night of the soul. And they're going to be in this dark night of the soul for a while. I think that they're strong enough to kind of like overcome whatever these uh, afflictions are that this dark night of the soul is going to bring them. I don't know why I'm hearing like, but anyways, I have the, the Gullah Jack card, which is the hangman. But I don't know why I'm feeling like there's this idea of like this person, um... Like, when you think about that in terms of this dark night of the soul, it's almost like this person is going through this, through this energy of, like, like, whatever they're, whatever they've gone through, like, I'm not going to try and dig too deep off into it, because that's lower vibrational, but it's so lower vibrational that if I even try to look into it, well, I'm not trying to take on these, per these people's emotions, because I feel like they're going to be destroyed, like, I mean, again, it's like... <sighs> Uh, sugar's lost its taste, you know, uh, salt's not as salty, food don't taste as good, you know, they're missing out on all these opportunities or they feel like they are because they've made this one bad decision to push you away and to kill this relationship off because of what they assumed was your lack of financial abundance in some kind of way. This is that card I was looking at. Again, this is the Four of Swords. This Four of Swords, his ass looked like he did, okay? This person's going to have to be resurrected by God himself in order to get back on this person on this person's um, original path. You know, I think of Sodom and Gomorrah where the wife turned around and she turned into a pillar of salt. This always makes me think about that. But, you know, you're not... I think in the Bible, that passage, you weren't supposed to look, turn around and look at all that you lost. They had all this money and all this abundance. And if you turn around and look at what you lost and you're going to turn into this pillar of salt and you're going to essentially just wither away, blow away in, in the wind. And I think that that's what this person did. Like... They looked at whatever they had with you as a loss of some sort. And so if it was going to be them losing money, then this person was like so busy looking back at what they were going to lose that they lost the shit anyway. You feel me? Like they lost it anyway. And so this person is like really, really um, trying to go back out there and overcome this energy of being in this dark night of the soul. But I mean, I'm not going to say it's too little too late because it's never too little too late, but they've got to overcome whatever this was that was afflicting them. And this feels like some kind of like a uh, hoodoo spell. Like, again, this person was afraid of people judging them or people actually were judging them. And they probably were going to be judged for dating somebody that was not on the same uh, financial caliber or something like that as they were. Because this person felt like a star and maybe you didn't shine as bright or they felt like you didn't shine as bright or they were kind of clouded to what it really meant to shine bright. Because I think that this person had an over preoccupation on money and finances. And again, that's like, money's not everything. Not only that, but money is not something that if it might be because you have like a little trickle coming in like a little drop 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 and their faucet was turned on full blast and so since you were just drop drop dropping and they were on full blast they were looking at you like you know your your chips wasn't right your money wasn't right you know you were missing on opportunities or they feel like you were a missed opportunity but baby this is the three of swords they missed the opportunity yo bad uh but i got the four of wands here so again i feel like this person has recognized the error in their ways in some kind of way uh either their mother told them or again they're going to figure it out in this uh april is what i feel almost at october so something about october is significant here and then i see here the um eight of wands with the nine of sword or the nine of cups both in the reverse so again this person is moving real quick you know they're going nowhere fast the eight of sword the eight of wands is about really really quick movement towards a goal or towards whatever it is this person's going nowhere fast, going right towards this addiction or whatever this was that they, you know, they're going to get everything that they thought that they wanted. And then they're going to realize, well, damn, that's not even what I wanted. I'm not even happy with this. They unhappy. That's their problem, though. Yo bad. King of Wands in the reverse again. He came out in the reverse and I think this Rider weight deck, but now he's in the reverse in this deck, too. And so again, you know, your energetic match or whoever that person was that you thought was your soulmate that kind of did your dirty plate to the left, whatever they did, this is that person that's going to go, they're just going nowhere fast. So if that gives you any consolation <laughs> that they just kind of like, you know, the seven of cups is about illusions. But again, this is about intoxication when it's in the reverse with the strength card. So they gave into this temptation and that temptation is the very thing that kind of like set their world a, a, a blaze. 
the sun card in the reverse. The sun card in the reverse is still a good card, but the sun card in the reverse for me is the moon card. And so when you think about the moon card, that's like your emotional state that's getting the best of you. This person probably crying person probably can't sleep at night is what I kind of feel like here and they're really really in a, in the midst of this really heavy dark night of the soul and that's their spiritual lesson that they refuse to learn and but that's why they're stuck that's why they're stuck the chariot card here is about moving forward though so I think they will be moving forward here but they're trying to you know when you move forward with no direction, you're just going to be going, you're aimless. This person is aimless. And again, it's because they're trying to control where spirit takes them. But spirit is trying to tell them, like, surrender. Spirit is like, spirit is telling this person to surrender. The image I saw was like a man with like a, um, with like a, like, he's a hostage. He's sitting there, he's about to get assassinated. And his spirit is like, well, just surrender to what I'm trying to tell you and you won't get uh, assassinated. But this person's like, well, no, I want what I want when I want it. And... And that's why they keep on repeating this lesson of all this hard labor, okay? I don't dream of labor, but they dream of labor because they keep on missing out on this opportunity that spirit keeps on trying to allow for them. And they're probably missing out on it because they are ashamed. And I'm not trying to say that they're ashamed of you, but for some of them, they, they look at it and they equate it to being that. Like, oh, there's something wrong with her because, let me see why. Some of them are holding you back again because of this illusion, but this illusion is something that was painted, a picture that was painted by somebody else. They could have been juggling a couple of different options, going back and forth between these two, like, uh, really messy relationship partners, and these messy people were the ones that were like, oh, well, why would you want to be with some... There's something about them not, um, hmm... It's not because they're not attracted, that's for sure, because they're really attracted. They're probably, like, um, puppy love, obsessed, or something like that. It could even be that maybe this person... Maybe it's because this person was thinking to themselves, he trying to, get in my headphones. I was like, what has he got back there? He's like, get my headphones, boy. <laughs> boy, he's about to tear up my headphones. Come here. Let me give you something else to play with. He made me forget what I was saying. So I guess that wasn't important, right, Sai Sai? Anyways, so, but yeah, it was like, maybe they thought that, oh, I, I figured it out now. But now the boy's here. Maybe they were like, oh, he's going to be pussy whipped. Whatever. Say hi. Get away from me. Little stinky self. Anyways, but yeah, so, but it was only because of jealousy, because this person, he had, um, and I do feel like it's a he, he had someone that was like, again, like, they don't want to see you strong. They don't want to see you thrive. Especially when you're somebody that all these good things are happening to. They don't want some, something good to happen to this person. They don't want this person to find any kind of like solace. You know what I'm saying? Like they, they don't want this person to get to where they're not able to get to. But they're not meant to go to this person's level. But they're steadily trying to make themselves a part of this person's world in some kind of way. Um, the full card here is again this idea of starting out on a new path but... But they're starting out on this path watching everything that this person is doing. And they're like, well, no, like you can't leave it out me, that kind of deal. Or they're trying to get this person to drop their guards against them. You some water? Um, but anyways, we have the rail, railroad card in the reverse, which is the chariot card in the reverse. He got water. Hold on, y'all. He got water in the other room, Betty. And he's got, he opened up like eight waters. Please take that one from him and just give him his little old water. The boy has opened up like eight waters. Him and my daughter. My daughter's like, oh, it's his. They have a two-year-old got four bottles of water open, sis. Anyways, but yeah, again, this is why they're, this is the lesson that they're walking away from. Oh, thanks, Betty. Um, so the temperance card is definitely here, though. I done lost my train of thought. Let me get these out of the way because sometimes when I lose my train of thought like that, we weren't supposed to be talking about that anyway. We ain't supposed to be talking about his karmic self. Let's talk about something a little bit less karmic. Let's get to something that's a little bit um, better for us. Better energy, you know. Because again, when you talk about somebody else's karma oh so much, his karma becomes your karma and who needs that when you've already overcome all of your own lessons? Look at him. Mm-mm-mm. All right, this is going to be my last little bit of reading, I guess. Get that bag off your head. 
That's why they keep back looking kids. Move. <laughs> Goodbye, boy. You want to go outside? Oh, okay. I'm going to hide that from him because he ain't going to do nothing but try to. Bye, bye, bye. I missed. Um, but we're about to end this anyway because he didn't mess up. He didn't. He didn't come in here, so that means that we're supposed to get out of here. But anyway, either way it goes, though. Who really cares? Not your problem. All I know is that you guys are wiggling out of your karma and things are changing for you. So let go and let God listen to your own intuition and move forward because you got a new man coming in anyway, and it doesn't really matter. You got a good man. You got. Let's not talk about the karmic anymore because he does not matter. This person wants to come out all the time, but he don't really matter. What really matters is the fact that you guys have new love coming in with somebody that you're going to grow old with. This person's going to have their money in order, but at the same time that they have their money in order, they're also going to be listening to their intuition and they're going to allow spirit to take them where they need to be. And they're not going to be afraid to love you out loud because of the fear of being pussy whipped by the queen of wands. You're going to be pussy whipped anyway because that's what good pussy does. All right. So. At the end of the day, the eight of baskets mean that this person's coming back to you. They're going to leave behind all that judgment and they're going to want to try to build a family with you. Whether or not it's this person, if it is, his ass to have learned his lesson and he won't be coming in with all that conflict and all that bullshit. And so at the end of the day, don't worry about the past. Just focus on the future and the future is yours. Listen to your intuition once again. I can't stress it enough. I see here 2022 is the year for you, especially to come into your own. And so spirit is trying to heal you at this point in time. And once you're healed, I feel like good things will come probably, probably within the next um, three months or so by June is what I feel like here. So again... Walk away from what doesn't serve you. This this isn't even about walking away from what doesn't serve you. This is this person getting served what they deserve because they're probably going to get stuck in a really karmic situation, which is neither here nor there because that's their problem. But you know, you will find what was what's meant for you, and that's all that there is to it. Let me move on. I'm about to get out of here. I guess go feed the ducks with this boy. Um, your doctrine of the soul is over, and abundance is coming to uses. <laughs> I just can't say it enough though. I keep getting this energy. Like when I said this whole thing about um about like this person is like was whoever this, these karmics were, whether it was just like their friends or other female relationships, they were looking at it like, oh well, you pussy whipped on that person or you are like whipped. Like this person was like um this person was ashamed of how much that they actually loved you and they got guilt tripped into not loving you as much, but they got guilt tripped by not into not loving you as much by somebody that was like, it doesn't even matter. Like you already know, you already know, like you are, you already know this to me is like the inner child, but also again, like some of you guys are actually psychics. And so you recognize that this person is like a page, you know, they're a, um, they're a page. The daughter of water is the page of cups. They are a page. And the page, as much as they are loving, they're also extremely immature, especially in the wrong energy. You know that enough to know that it don't even matter. Like you remove the illusion from your situation and you're walking towards your wealth and your wealth is here. And a part of your wealth is with this other person. And so whatever, you're going to find somebody that loves you just the same. And it don't really matter what's going on with this person that can't see the truth beneath the lies because of this karmic little third party little... Um, you, you get it. You get what I'm trying to say. Let me get out of here. So like, share, subscribe, I guess. Um, I'm going to make this one kind of shorter because the boy done messed up my whole train of thought, I guess. Um, book a session by texting me at 602-549-4500. And then we'll talk. We'll talk. We'll talk about your situation. I do offer one hour sessions, 30 minute sessions, 45, 45 minute sessions. Just hit me up and I'll tell you, you know, we'll talk about pricing and availability at that point. Toodles.